Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. In this video, we're going to try and change your perceptions again. We're trying to get you into that place where you're going to win more games. One of the most consistent errors I see players make is actually getting into a brawl. That is not required and more importantly, it will end in tears. Why do we do this? Well, the simple answer is that we get tunnel visioned, seeing only one option, namely to commit to the brawl, which is not always the case. I said in a previous video, basic mistakes that cost games, that getting into a brawl at the end of a game may be your only option. I get that. What I'm talking about here are those brawls that happen during the opening parts of the game. Now, we've all been there and we've all seen it rushing down a certain route only to be confronted by numerous enemy tanks and instead of turning around and running away we plow headlong into the fray and end up getting wrecked which we then generally blame the team for lack of support during our mad rush and equally mad brawl in this video i want to try and make you consider other options and yes they all belong to the take your time advice we are going to go through two replays. But before we do, I want you to understand one little thing. Being a good player and increasing your win rate isn't always about how well you will do in a 1v1. It's all about using your head and outthinking your enemy. If you're one of those who are sat there thinking that using so-called OP tanks, the derp guns or brawling will give you an advantage and thus win more games for you, then you really are mistaken and that's your first problem. This is a strategy game at heart. It's more akin to chess than using raw power like in boxing. Although boxing also has a, deg a degree of strategy, obviously. Outthinking your enemy will get you further than out brawling them. In a brawl, you may win that battle, but you can ultimately lose the war. And nobody wants that. If you therefore really want to win more games and get better, then drop your preconceptions that so-called OP or broken tanks will get you there. Forget most of the crap you see on YouTube about top tanks, best tanks and stuff like that, and start playing a tank that you are comfortable in, that suits your playstyle, and more importantly start to engage your brain instead of your muscles anyway on to the videos so in this first game we're in the 59 pattern and here we are on canal and i went this way because i generally know that they're going to send some tanks here they had some mediums and lights and stuff like that so i'm just going to sit here i'm going to try and stay hauled down and i'm resisting the temptation to rush into those two tanks the reason being i know they've got tanks on the right of me now I'm able to resist that temptation. Unfortunately, one of the members of my team in a minute loses his temptation. There he goes. And he decides to get involved. I'm quite happy sat here. I'm whittling them down. I'm bleeding them nicely. I'll probably be able to take the T-49 out now. Yes, we do. But unfortunately, my teammate has put himself in a world of pain. Because those tanks that were waiting in the wings are now going to push through. Most notably that T-34. Now that I've got two tanks from my team on that flank, and look, there are lots of enemy tanks doing exactly what I anticipated them to do, which is sit there and blow them to smithereens. Now don't get me wrong, the enemy are also making the same mistake of getting in there to brawl, because that's exactly what they're doing, and I'm able to whittle them down. And there goes one of our tanks on the flank, and there goes the other tank on the flank, but I'm still here, I've lost hardly any hit points, I've done over 1300 in damage, and I've taken a kill. And I'm still alive, and that's more important than anything else. And I haven't really moved from my position. Now, I could have got involved in the brawl, and where would that have got me? Well, it would have got me back in the garage a lot quicker than I expected. And this is what I'm trying to explain to you. Now, nobody in their right mind is going to say the 59 pattern is an OP tank. To be fair, it's a very strong tank, and I, I like it. I think it's a brilliant tank. 
and if you put it in the right place and you keep it all down and use the gun for what it's meant to be doing then you will have a lot of fun in this thing but the idea is not to just get involved blindly in these brawls guys the idea is to outthink your enemy let them come to you let them push you and you punish them for their mistakes and that's exactly what i've done here now there's only one tank left the poor old draculo and there's nothing he can do to be honest with you it, we've got plenty of tanks but what's interesting is the tanks that we lost we lost because they decided to brawl they didn't win the brawl now that is what you need to try and avoid eventually we spot the pattern of spot the draculo he's doing his best to run away but he ain't gonna get very far we've got the advantage they haven't he's played a great game that by the way the draculo but uh, he can't do much about it because his team decided to brawl and it costs you games guys so resist that temptation in this next game we're rolling out on the wz113 a fantastic tank to be honest with you it takes some getting used to but it's a beautiful tank it's got rock solid turret armor it's got nothing on its hull it's got pretty good dpm in fact it's got amazing dpm okay it doesn't knock out high damage but it knocks it out quickly and okay it's turret traverse is relatively slow but it does have a relatively good gun and again don't go rushing in now you can see that already we've got a cran wagon getting up there and i'm able to put shots into his side from the enemy team and we've got our team also up there and it's going to end up in a brawl eventually and i'm not going to take that bait i'm quite happy sitting here side scraping off this building narrowing that positioning that they they want to try and put shots into me i'm going to bounce them till i'm blue in the face or until the cows come home whilst putting shots into them our cran wagon tries to make a push in fact two of our tanks make a push but there are big guns behind those tanks and this is what you've got to be careful of they're bleeding here unnecessarily because and you know their cran wagon's gone because he was over aggressive he over pushed but we're also bleeding unnecessarily i'm just able to sit here in a position of relative safety and farm and that's exactly what i've been doing same here i mean now other tanks are going to get involved in the brawl the, the, from the red team the waffle tractor was going to have thinking that way but i put a shot into him which sort of changed his mind we've lost a tank they've lost two tanks and it's going to go downhill rapidly for the red team we've got them basically cornered i know that they're basically cornered that allows me to make a push i put a nice shot into the wt i know he's going to snap his shot and there he goes I can continue my push, pincering both the WT and the AMX, knowing full well that I've got tanks on the other side. This is a brawl you can make, because you now have the tank advantage. You have more guns, and when you have more guns, you're going to win the brawl. The AMX 50 here can't do anything. He literally cannot do anything. And we are able to take him down. Now, the thing is, when the Kranwagen lost the brawl on the flank, the amx should have got out of dodge he didn't that's not his fault he, he got tunnel vision thinking he was going to take out this cran wagon and unfortunately it's not going to happen because he, he's an amx we've now up to 4300 damage we've got an object 704 there we're going to put one into him but it's basically all over and this is what i'm saying guys you've got to outthink your enemy they lost this game because their tanks decided to brawl over the sea cap when it was totally unnecessary those tanks should have backed off let our tanks push them and force them onto those big guns of the waffle tractor the amx and the object they didn't that's why they lost and this is the point i'm trying to get across it's not always about raw power okay it's about outthinking your enemy playing strategically now it doesn't matter how many op tanks you play like the smasher or the annihilator or whatever it doesn't even matter how many derp tanks you play if you can't outthink your enemy you're going to lose more games than you're going to win it's as simple as that and one of the keys to outthinking your enemy and it, it really 
takes some time to get used to this is firstly calm down don't be so eager okay the more eager you are the worse it's gonna get so chill out calm down and don't rush that is vitally important number two know the tank you are playing know what its strengths are what its weaknesses are and don't play to its strengths necessarily play to its weaknesses so like in this game this is a t62a i know it's got weak lower hull so i'm playing to that by keeping it hull down and using its gun because it's got a fantastic gun you know okay it's still a russian gun but for a russian gun it's incredibly accurate and then I'm only moving and using the mobility when I absolutely need to. And this is what you need to try and get into the back of your heads. Stop playing the tank to its strengths. So for example, if you're in a mouse, don't just sit there saying, oh, I'm in a mouse, it's got a load of HP, therefore I can YOLO into everybody and they're not gonna hurt me because they're gonna hurt you. Play to its weaknesses, which is it's got a shit gun and shit GPM. So because of that, you know, don't sit at the back and snipe. Find the positions on the map that are going to play to its strengths eventually. Try and do that. Try to outthink your opponent. And believe me, over time, you will start to win more. I'm not going to say that, you know, I'm guaranteeing you more victories and thereby your win rate will go up. It's a lot of will depend on the team. Of course it was. But... You can only help yourself. Anyway, I've been fooded. By all means, comment and everything below. And until the next time, guys, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because that's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.